and I'll be back in touch with you about how I uh, follow up from this um, major setback, this major failure. So this video will be coming out and uh, it'll be talking about the failure. Here we are, it's uh, 9.08, later start today, Monday, January 23rd. 9.08 is Pacific Time, Rhythmic Trader Pro. I changed my mouse settings to hopefully prevent double clicking. Let's see how that goes. And there's where we left off. Count balance, cash on hand. Pretty close to our peak in this eval. So far, thus far. NT8, Ninja Trader 8. Looks like I have recording worked out here. Well, well, would you look at that? Everything saved and launched. Well, isn't that special? Nice. My secret indicator did show some weakness today. And we certainly did come off those very high levels. Well, 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 maybe that was a double click right there. Horizontal line, 4109. Man, that's a nice level. I think most people are predicting weakness in the market. The guru, my, I guess I would say my ultimate guru, Al Brooks, looking for sideways markets for the next couple of years and then perhaps some correction coming down probably in the neighborhood of 3,000 or lower pretty low oh, let's get our apex going we're not trading sim what do we say here let's try uh, with the runner and hopefully I won't mess that up. Get the lay of the land. Higher lows, higher lows, lower low, but not quite to the bottom, so this may be our reversal. Got a lot of stacked candles here. There's our high first entry long, second entry long, right there. These are really first entry shorts, but that's first entry long. Let's see, do we see strength here or are we stacked? There's definitely bear sentiment today. Just for grins, some kind of trend line. Some giant trend line. No clue if that's relevant to anything at this point in time. All I really see is that short and break. Is that the new extreme? Closed outside, new extreme there. That's the run up. Is this a fake out? Or order filled. I don't know. But oh, this is a one and one. Oh. 
Well, let's see what happens. Sell off instantly. Definitely got in late to that party. I feel a rolling. But that it did reach a new extreme there, so... But we are outside of this channel. If this channel is relevant, this is probably pulling back in. And the, the long run is over. I watch it, see if we can buy, build. buy our way back in. <laughs> buy our way back into the shakeout. Ooh, man, that needed to break up at least one more tick. But as we know in this game, every tick is relevant. If we're going to say we're bullish on this one, then we're going to have to really ride and hopefully buy in. Order filled. And average down a long way. We're six orders in, six in. We may have to average into the EMA. Order filled. And just keep buying. But we are running out of room. Alright, let's do our hopium. Let's get a uh, an arrow line and try to draw two legs out of this. Leg one and leg two. Well, that's our hopium target. 40, 67, 50. But sellers at the EMA is not a happy sign. We're down 750. We've been there before. That's nice. Tick above. Selling off of there is not nice. Push above the EMA, we'll be happy. I got faith. Nice to see catching a little bid action at 40.52. Let's see us catch some more bid action. Turn it up. Let's see if we can't get back in Come on, push it up. Ugh. Selling off there, buying off there. Come on, get green. Get green, that's red. That's red, not green. Now I feel like the uh, sellers are soaking up the buyers. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough. Fifty-two fifty's got a hold for us. We got to gain fifty-five. Got to gain fifty-seven fifty. Yeah, there's a lot of heat in here. I guess I'll have to pause it. Well, kids, I think I just blew up my account. I turned my back to take care of some things, and 
lo and behold, I saw that I got stopped out at 40, 40.49.50. And I said, that's odd. I had a stop loss down here. Not thinking of the math. There was my loss right there, 2882.64. I did not have the room and my auto liquidate threshold value kicked in. So I lose. What a pity. <laughs> All that work destroyed in that, that terrible trade because I didn't want to admit I was wrong. So this is the lesson that has been waiting as I've been doubling down in the past and getting lucky coming out eventually your luck runs out and that's why you need to take your losses you know I'll admit at the time I was thinking you know oh yeah you know I was good I did it but eventually it runs out on you So, I would have, uh, if I would have held on for a few points more, you know, that whole deal, I could have maybe gotten out, you know, but you see right here, this is a blown up account, admin only. I'm in the number one here, there's no green, so that's game over, kids. You got to start over on this, you know, endeavor. What a pity. So, yeah, I guess I got to investigate how I, you know, get this going again. PL 2881.84 negative. Yep. <sighs> Too big for my britches. Foolishness catches you. Look at that right there. See, you know, what can you do? I took 60 to 49, so I took basically over 10 points of heat and blew up my account, and that that right there would have got me out break even, you know, had I taken that. Just for Order submitted. grins, yeah, can't even get in. So one trade of the day, day eight. the 30th of January and random Dave is out out of luck SOL so all that remains is uh, shut her down there and shut her down there and uh, I'm gonna look into you know the next steps here exit app and I'll be back in touch with you about how I uh, follow up from this um, major setback this major failure so this video will be coming out and uh, it'll be talking about the failure I wish I had recorded that in real time but did not alright random Dave out but he'll be back So it's about five or so minutes later, maybe more, but not much more. And I'm logged back in, count balance, threshold, liquidate, peak, cash on hand. That looks like a reset to me. NT, same dealio.